is this $90 12 volt, 1200 watt, pure sine wave, high frequency inverter by Jung Pao, the best inverter out there? Well, I tested a 24 volt Jung Pao recently and I loved it. It's become my favorite 24 volt high frequency inverter. So I have high expectations for this inverter. We're gonna run it through a series of tests, but before we do that, let's check out the inverter. This end's pretty standard, positive, negative. It's got a fan. This end has got two receptacle outlets, a couple of USB. It comes with this Cat5 cable and a very nice monitor so you can mount this somewhere in a rig or something as long as there was proper airflow and then you can turn it on and off and watch everything from here. It comes with the user manual and product overview. What really stood out about this inverter and what I'm going to test first is it says you don't need one of these. Now on a normal inverter you have to use a resistor because when you attach a battery to it, it charges up the capacitors and you get a spark. This inverter says you don't need one. Now I've tested this already and every time I've tested it, it didn't spark. But I'm going to do this live right now, my first test. So I'm going to put on my PPE. Hopefully you can see this. I will show you something pretty impressive. I got this on again, just, just in case I'm wrong. Check this out. And I'm gonna flinch a little bit just because I, I don't like that spark. Look at that, nothing, nothing, no spark. And I'll say this again. I tested this yesterday several times and it never, ever sparked. So now I'm gonna run it through a series of tests. I've got several batteries hooked up to it. We're going to see how well it performs, how quiet it is, what the efficiency is. We're going to test everything. So stay tuned, hang out. Let's have some fun today. So here's my testing apparatus and I have three 12 volt batteries hooked up to test. I do not have fuses on these. This is a testing environment. I do not recommend this. Always use a fuse on any live system. I'm going to test pure sine wave and the sound. They claim that this is very, very quiet and they say it's a pure sine wave. So we gotta test all of that. So the sine wave off the top on idle, pure sine wave. What I'm gonna do is apply a load about 50%. Got about 900 watts coming through. Sine wave is perfectly fine. Next thing I wanna do is I wanna test the sound. I have my meter here. It's at 30 decibels right now. I'm gonna apply a small load. So as you can see, it's a little over 60 decibels. So, um, so the sound levels coming out of it are pretty typical. I also tested a 12 volt, 1200 watt and a 12 volt, 2000 watt. And the sound levels were just about the same as this. So their claim of it being extra quiet, I'm not able to duplicate that. Testing surge is always difficult and I've never gotten an inverted surge anywhere close to what they claim. This one says it can do 3600. The most I got was 1452, but this could be the limitations of my system here, could be the limitations of my meter, could be the limitations of anything. I do have three 12 volt, 100 amp hour batteries hooked up in parallel, so the energy coming in should be enough, but the most surge I got out of it was 1452. Now, now the efficiency of an inverter is very easy to test. This one claims low 90s efficiency. I just did a test of a little under 900 watts, so a pretty high C test, and it got 94% efficiency. So the another claim that this inverter makes is that it can run a full load for an extended period of time. So we're gonna test that. It is mid-August, Oklahoma, so it's hot. So I'm gonna run a 8,000 BTU air conditioner and whatever else we need to get to as close to that 1200 watt output as we can. And we're gonna see, will it run for an hour? Will it run for longer? Remember, I've got three fully charged 12 volt, 100 amp hour batteries, so Let's put it to a test and see how well it runs. This inverter performed incredibly well. I did that load test of over 1200 watts, so a full load, and it ran for over two hours. Just to put that in perspective, normally when I do an inverter review, it, it can run for 10 minutes, I consider it a success. This was over two hours at full load, actually slightly more than full load, no problems. And I stopped the test. I mean. It ran for two hours. I'm sure it could run for four, six, eight until the batteries are gone. So I'm not concerned about that. The unit never ran hot, never had any voltage drop. Uh, the wires 
were warmer than anything and the terminals were warmer than anything. In fact, the extension cord I had my air conditioner hooked up was warmer than the unit. So the unit ran really cool. Now they claim a ultra low decibel sound. Um, the sound on this was pretty typical, so I wasn't able to duplicate that. And the surge capability, as I mentioned before, I just was not able to duplicate that, but I don't know if that's a limitation of me because I've never been able to get surge out of anything I've ever tested. So I don't know if that's really a reflection of the unit, but the unit performed incredibly well. Now, if you're wondering about idle consumption, it sips the electricity on idle. Let me bring this up. 3.9 watts is the idle consumption. So it's just incredible, pure sine wave. Now, my limitations of my test, I can't test the uh, THD and you know distortion. Uh, I'm just, I'm not an electrical engineer, but the sine wave was pure under heavy load. The output was amazing. Um, and I don't know if you remember this, this is a $90 inverter. This performed incredibly well. Um, if anybody has any questions or if there's something I missed, um, you know, leave a comment below because uh, I thoroughly tested this. And uh, it's incredibly impressive. I don't know why anybody would not buy this inverter. It's just like their 24 volt inverter. It's amazing. They put out incredibly quality, pure sine wave, high frequency inverters. So if you're in the market for that, check this one out. And you might think, well, 1200 watts is a little low. They make a 2000 and a 3000. So if you need more power, pick up a bigger one. My guess is that the bigger ones are just as good. And I say that because their 24 volt, 2000 watt one that I, that I reviewed was perfectly fine. So uh, Jung Pao is just uh, my new hero. Uh, they produce incredibly quality, incredibly inexpensive, high frequency, pure sine wave inverters. Uh, that's all I got. Um, yeah, uh, impressed. Go out and buy one. Now I do have a link below, so you know if you are interested, please uh, click the link below and you can purchase it. That's all I got for today though. Thanks for watching. As always, like, comment, share, subscribe. It really helps out the channel and I will talk to everyone real soon.